I'm Mary Smith, and this is what I do. I'm a senior GIS administrator, which means really I'm an analyst. GIS stands for Geospatial Information Systems, or sciences, depending on who you're asking. And what it is is a lens through which we see the world. There's a lot of data involved in running a city, and GIS makes it possible to take all of this data and put it in a format that's easy to understand, and that happens to be on maps. The city's GIS team produces a wide array of products, including raw, downloadable data and applications for web, phone, and tablets. They collect more data than most people can even imagine and are tasked with finding creative ways for us to visualize it. All of the technology that different groups use, a lot of it ties back into GIS, and that's the place where all of the information comes together. And when you can bring information together, that's how you start making really smart decisions. As we look to the future as a sustainable and smart city, it's important to have good data and the right tools available to help guide important decisions. Without GIS, our work would also be much more difficult. For example, it helps us create and visualize leaf collection and trash pickup routes, zoning districts, neighborhood service areas, and aids in disaster response. Something else our GIS analysts do is take technology that's already being used, such as a drone, and find new ways of using it. Using the data collected in the field, they can create a 3D model of the city, as well as a digital twin. A digital twin is basically a three-dimensional working model of the city, not just how it looks, but all of the systems that are used by the city, the sewage and the lights and everything, utility, everything. And the reason we have digital twins is so that we can do other stuff like model for disasters or plan for parades. Data drives GIS, and data comes from so many different sources, including our citizens. Every year, the city hosts GIS Day, an educational event open to schools and the general public. It's here that industry leaders join city GIS staff to share what we're working on and encourage the exchange of ideas. GIS is now so involved in so many aspects of city governments, there is a good chance that having any government job, you're gonna end up working with GIS one way or another, whether you know it or not. I love GIS because it is changing all the time. I get to wear a lot of different hats. One day I'm a map maker and another day I'm a programmer. And on a third day, if the weather's nice, I can go out in the field and collect data. It's a great job for people who wanna have a bunch of different jobs.